millions viewers, so nice to see you once again. I don't know about you, but I sure do enjoy reporting on good and beautiful stories from current times and bygone times. Today, thanks to the Time Back Machine, I was able to go back in time to 1992 to report on a special story. This story takes place at Rexburg, Idaho, where Miss Hopeful attended college during 1984 and 1985. After leaving Rexburg, Miss Hopeful went on to complete her degree at Southern Oregon State College in 1989. After working three years as a computer database programmer in the Seattle area, Miss Hopeful met a nice guy from church who happened to attend church at Blackfoot, Idaho. His name is Mr. Nice Guy. After writing and talking on the phone for many months, Miss Hopeful finally met Mr. Nice Guy in person during the spring feast days of 1992. Miss Hopeful and Mr. Nice Guy continued their friendship until the point where Miss Hopeful decided to move to Idaho during the summer of 1992. This scene takes place at the Rexburg, Idaho home of Alta Waddell, summer of 1992, whom Miss Hopeful and Mr. Nice Guy are visiting on the Sabbath. Mrs. Waddell, it is such a delight to visit you and share a meal with you. It is my pleasure to have you over to my house again. You know, Miss Hopeful, I do have some very fond memories of when you were here seven years ago attending college. Yes, those are some special times. At the time, I was just beginning my adult journey with God, and I didn't think that I might be the only one in Rexburg and the only one at college that might attend a Sabbath-keeping church. Well, I didn't know what to expect when my brother died and left his house here at Rexburg to me. I must say, I was very surprised to find out there was a churchgoer here attending the Mormon College. I also was surprised. It was nice to come over to your house on Friday nights and then ride to church together. It didn't matter that you were old and I was a young college student. The fact that we were spiritually like-minded is what really mattered. I agree. Those were some very special times. And now you are friends with our very own Mr. Nice Guy here. I agree with Miss Hopeful that certainly is a joy to be had spending time with you. Well, after we are done with dinner, I will set up a bed for your Mr. Nice Guy in the living room, and Miss Hopeful, you can have the spare bedroom. That is very nice of you. It is nice that we won't have to rush off after dinner. Okay, then let's cut the chat and get into dinner. Mr. Nice Guy, would you be willing to ask a blessing on our meal? Well, viewers, I hope you have enjoyed our story today. I do hope you all have special memories of times when God surprised you with lovely fellowship opportunities. Until next week, you might even pray that God will spread a table in the wilderness where you can savor God and his people.